Hello again, everyone. 16. My goodness, the time is going. Over halfway. I have had a look. I've had a think. This is what we've got. It's a very, very intricate dye of a, a droopy kind of tree. I don't know what exactly kind of tree it is but when I looked at it I thought to myself some of these lines are so close together it's going to be quite a tricky one to cut out accurately successfully so I did decide to use my precision plate and I have cut a couple here and they've cut beautifully but that is with the precision plate you may well need perhaps if you've got this particular this year's calendar to um, add a shim or something if you don't have a precision plate but beautiful beautiful tree and I thought I don't want it to be overshadowed by much so my thoughts were I just have a square card I would look in my scraps drawer see if I could find a background and I came up with this which I thought was kind of nice and I thought I would use a little bit of this, maybe a square like this, have, I'll join these two together, put a tree on, maybe overlapping the square. I've got some um, um, press cut square uh, dies. I would colour the, the tree and maybe, uh, I, went, I went and got my box of, of um, this is one of my boxes of coloured card. I used to go to the paper mill shop when the paper mill shops were around. And every time I'd get, I'd, I'd go and get a whole ro load of, of, I just couldn't resist it, card. And I've got it all filed away in colours. And I don't actually use it very often. I ought to dug it, dig it out a bit more frequently. But I thought I'd have a look through here and see what I could find to go with this. So I took my, my piece of card and the two that I've left on the top are the ones that I was thinking, or even that deep one there. That's a nice one, isn't it? A really deep hunting green. So perhaps I'll oh, look, there's loads actually. Lots of, lots of these would go. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I thought I would have a few frames surrounding this, just with the tree. And that's kind of it, really. And I thought it'd be quite good for a chap's card. So let's let's just get on and do. I think I'm, I keep saying every time it's going to be quick, and it never ever is. But let's just let's just try. Get my little bit of plastic, and I'll just um, put some glue on this to stick the two layers together, just so we've got a little bit more substance. Here we go. Right. I don't find that this glue moves quite as much as j as zig, but um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And the big nib means that uh, you get a lot covered. You don't have to go trying to take a narrow nib over these very narrow bits of dye. Are we nearly there? I think we are. Just get my tweezers just to align these little bits just a bit further. There we go. Just press this down with a... There we go. Now, how to colour this? Um, well, let me just, let me just cut a bit of this. Up. Find a press cut square. How big do we want it? Where's the tree? I kind of fancy it like that. That'll, that'll do. Then I'll just go bigger with the with the subsequent um, mounts. Let's just cut this one out. I just fancied the colours in this corner. I don't know how, I don't know what this was from. I've got no idea. I think it might have been a, looks like it might have been a gel, gel print, doesn't it? I think that's a gel print. But that's rather, look at the, look at the textures in there. It's almost like the sort of things that are on there 
as is. Right, let's have a, we'll have, that's the one that's cut that out. So we would like to have perhaps the next two as other mounts, I think. Let's see, let's see if I can do this really, really quickly. Sometimes, you know, you can spend it forever and things don't look very wonderful. And then another time you can do things really quickly and it looks amazing. And I also opened the drawer to get the glue out here and I came across this little little flight of bird dye that I bought the last time I went to, I think it's Alexandra Palace. And I thought that might be, it might look nice just kind of in in the corner or something. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Um, what have I got here? Just one piece. Let's have we got another. What other colours do I fancy? Um, it, I, I think I better leave the background until I've done the until I've done the tree. So let me just keep those in abeyance for a moment while I colour the tree, and then I'll make sure that the the thing matches. Um, the colour is, I think, bundled sage with a bit of something else. Bundled sage with a little bit of rustic wilderness, maybe. Let's just see. And then I can darken the trunk with a marker or whatever, I think. Let's do bundled sage. There's a bit of ink. I'm going to add a little water. Okay. Okay. Let's have a bit neater. Okay, let's have a bit of the rustic wilderness as well. That's okay. Okay. I think that will do. Let me clear this up. Oh, I've got a white white there let's do this and then i'll add some color for the trunk what do we want for the trunk um perhaps i'll just use a a marker for that let's try this one I don't like that bit in the middle. Um, that's better. Okay. Just wear my fingers again. And I think I would like a little ink on there as well as that bit of marker. So a bit of gathered twigs maybe. And I'll just use a tiny brush. Okay, it's quite nice, isn't it? Surprisingly, says she. Okay, now let's just do a few layers to go behind. Let's do, what should we have next? Um, add 
that's a bit too yellow. That one's better. Need to chop this a bit smaller, otherwise it won't go through my machine. You can tell how long it's been in there. The edge of this is slightly faded and it's not in the sun at all. But uh, it's been in the box for years and it's great to be able to get it out kind of use some of it. Let's just cut a piece off here. I don't think I need my precision plate. Let's just put a, a different plate in. I'm going to cut one of these. Right. I could actually put a, a fancy one round, couldn't I? Where's a card base? Um, what have I done with one? Oh, it's here. Right. Um, I know what I have got. I've got some um, borders. Let's just have a look back here somewhere. Here we go. No, not that one. This one. What's that like for size? This is a, a poppy stamps, I think. That might be quite nice. I wonder if that would be all right. Should I do it in, in white or, or the same colour? Um, or what do we think? Let's try the same colour and just see what that does. Slightly bigger. It's a good job I made that large enough, isn't it, really? Isn't it? Really? thinking too clearly about what was going to be done next. Let's just see. We might be able to do a little bit with dimension here, mayn't we? Do I like that? Um, I'm not sure that I do like that really. Let's try a, um, a white one and see a self colour one to see if that looks any better. Let's just see. Cut this out. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Okay. Could I put that underneath and just show a hint of it, maybe? I'll do that. I think we'll, we'll just call, call it a day at that, and I think it'd be quite sweet. Unless I did that with that. Let's just see. Do I like the white? I can't decide. Let me just start putting them together and then we'll we'll see. I'll put this one on first. And this is the bottom somehow. I don't know why I should think so. It just looks like it's the the base layer. Okay, and then we'll put. Do we want it onto that one? Okay, let me put that onto that one with some foam tape. And ensure that it's uh, absolutely straight if I put it inside the other um, die cut, the frame one. Okay. I 
I may add some of that um, glitter gloss onto the onto the tree, or maybe even a little uh, distress glaze. Maybe I'll see. Let's pop this on. Difficult to decide what you want to do with all these lovely, lovely dyes. There we go. I love the effect of, of the bit of this um, gel print. I think it was probably a base layer that I just didn't go any further with, really. Now, what do we fancy? Do we fancy that? Or do we fancy this raised? I've got some of the pictures of Rebecca Lardner's that are, the frame is kind of raised from the, it's got a, a gap between the, the image and the frame, which is really rather trendy, I think. Yeah, I might do that. I think I'll do that. Let's um, put some uh, foam tape on this. Oh, I've just joined those two together and make it a bit thicker. I'll do that while I've cut it. I might as well use it. Okay. So we'll join these two together. And then we will put foam tape on the back as well as. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Right, foam tape, and this narrow stuff is just the right width. Absolutely perfect. One. Two. Now, tricky bit's going to get this square. I do have a gizmo here that I haven't actually used. This is from um, Sticks 2. Sticks 2 anything. And it is for things like centering your uh, mounts and things like that. So let me just see if I could... That's square, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six and a bit. One, oh, they're, oh no, they're the different, different width, aren't they? Um, does that look in the middle? No. That looks about right to me, but I'll just get it square with this. There we go. I think that's it. I'm sure there must be a technical way of using this. Okay, just put some glue stick on so that I can move it if I need to. You can draw arcs with this as well because it's got holes here and you can pivot it round and do stuff. I have to do a bit of experimentation, I think. There we go. Now this can just fit inside it because that is square. There we go. This is the one. Make sure it opens the right way. That's it. Okay. Now all I have to do is stick on my tree, which is this one. Shall I put a bit of glaze on it? It's kind of nice, isn't it? Yeah, I'll put a bit. Let's try a bit of um, distress glaze if I can just put my hand on it. Here it is. 
Distress Glaze. Micro Distress Glaze. Okay. Let's put it down on here. Give them that clean. And it just you just put it on with your finger and it it's just slightly shiny. And then you can buff it with a paper towel, apparently. There we go. Get a piece of paper towel. Okay. Probably do a bit more later, but still. Okay, a little glue. And I think we'll be done. Just dots will do this. I think I need a stronger, maybe a better, you know, stronger glue than the the one I joined the layers together with. But if if there are bits of this that are not stuck down, I think that's probably all to the good. Oh, I didn't do the birds, did I? I didn't think about those. <sighs> Let me just put this in first while I'm doing it. There we go. I don't think the birds are the right place for it, really, do you? I think it's too low down. It's more like grass than... There we go. So I could add a sentiment. Um, happy birthday, if I wanted to, or whatever, or whatever occasion you wish to, to choose, really. So, now yeah, we've got another one. Another day. 16, done. So thank you so much for watching and do join me tomorrow. Thank you so much.